Hi, this is Joe, and today I'll be reviewing the Toy Joy 3D Dinosaur Puzzle. Uh, with it, you get the Pach <laughs> Pach Pachycephalosaurus, that's 18 pieces, the Velociraptor, 20 pieces, the Spinosaurus, which is 20 pieces, and the Brachiosaurus, which is 27 pieces. So I just want to point that out to everyone. Each dinosaur fits into its own egg. There's four eggs that come with it. It's just a plastic egg. There's nothing special to it. So I want to move the eggs and I want to start looking at these. I have two boys. They're four and five and they played with these. But what I had to do is I had to put them something like this. So they do provide a level of flexibility based upon the age of your child. Now, some of these pieces you can, you know, the adult has to assemble them first. But then the kids can kind of fit these a little bit together like that. And then you can take a hard puzzle and just make it three pieces. And you can make it so a little kid can play with it. But on the downside to that, there's a lot of little teeny, teeny tiny pieces. And so the little kids, you know, the head might fall off. And so you're going to be looking for a dinosaur without a head. So you really do need to supervise them with it because the pieces will come off. One of the other tricky parts about this is I want to show you, this is a good, good example on the Velociraptor. Um, you take his head off and look at this. The head goes on like that, but you can see there's a whole, there's a slot for where the arms go. So you want to take this off and you got to put the arm in there. Whoop. You have to put the arm in here like this, the other arm in like that. And then you got to put the head on. So this might be a little bit too much for a seven year old to figure out. Um, and, and, Cause it it's, takes some manual dexterity. It takes some comprehension and, and cognitive ability to know how the parts fit in. So there's some tricky pieces to it like that. And, and again, like look at how many parts there are. There, it's, it's lots of parts. There are one, two. I mean, you can see all the different parts. I'm just starting to break it apart. There's a lot of different little parts. So it's a tough puzzle. And when I went through and I was talking to my wife, she said, you know, the problem with all with these puzzles, not really the problem with them, but one of the things is that, you know, a child that's got to be old enough to actually fool with this, I don't know if they're still going to be interested in a little dinosaur uh, by the time that it says the age of seven. So my boys were four and five. It was definitely too much, too little, uh, sorry, too much for them at their young age. Um, so they did, they were interested in them. They liked them. They're like, oh, they're cool. They're dinosaurs. So they play with them a lot. Uh, but there's all these little teeny tiny parts and pieces to it. So it's really for an older child, uh, seven, I would say probably closer to the age of eight or nine. Uh, they're tricky little puzzles to solve. And there's lots of little pieces and you don't want these pieces to get lost. So I just want to caution people about that. Uh, it's not, it, it's a fun toy. I enjoyed it. My boys love the dinosaurs. Uh, they like all the different pieces, but there's lots of pieces and they're tricky to fit together. So uh, just make sure you don't get yourself in for more than you bargained for and you'll have fun with these. All right. Thanks again for watching.